morning students last lecture we discussed about by process calculation material balance in which we are discussing about the material balance and energy balance material balance without reaction last lecture we discussed about few thermodynamic preliminaries about system surrounding different type of processes then we discussed about steady state and equilibrium and then we discussed about law of conservation of mass based on law of conservation of mass we have derived or we have written the general mass balance equation and now we will discuss the procedure for material balance calculation and then we apply this procedure to one of the case study initially we discuss the mass balance equation general mass balance equation general mass balance equation to any process can be written as mass in minus mass out plus mass generated minus mass consumed is equal to mass accumulated within the system if the process is run at continuously continuously if the continuous process is there and it is at steady state then the mass accumulated term must be zero in that case this general mass balance equation is simplified to mass in plus mass generated is equal to mass out plus mass consumed if in the system no reaction is there if reaction does not occur in the system then mass in is equal to mass out we can simplify this mass balance equation because in that case if there is no reaction then mass is not generated within the system mass is not consumed in the system so in that case we can simplify mass balance equation as mass in is equal to mass out now we will discuss about the procedure for material balance calculation the first step in the procedure is we need to first understand the problem statement we need to read the problem statement first understand the problem statement and then draw the process flow diagram for the system once we we are able to draw the process flow diagram then whatever inputs and outputs are given to the system or to the process for that you need to select a set of units for example si units you need to consider then we need to write all those given quantities in process flow diagram in process flow diagram then based on the given data based on the given data in the problem statement we need to select the basis for the calculation generally 
the basis is selected based on input and output for the process. Once the basis is set, then we need to apply sometimes few assumptions like the process is run at steady state like that we need to assume and simplify it we we need to clear the assumptions we need to state all the assumptions and simplify the process then we need to identify which are the components of the process are involved in the reaction or which are the process components are there that we need to define first, identify first. Once all these five steps are clear, then we need to write a mass balance step. Once we write the mass balance table, then we need to write the what are the given things in the process and what are not given. We need to identify unknown quantities. And then by applying appropriate mass balance equation we need to calculate the unknown things so this is the procedure we need to follow for material balance calculations we will discuss today how the flow sheet is set for any process here one simple example based on humidification here humid air is enriched with oxygen is prepared for a gluconic acid fermentation the air is prepared in a humidified chamber humidifying chamber here the humidifying chamber is shown by this rectangle. 1.5 liter per hour liquid water enters the chamber and at the same time as the dry air. 15 gram mole per minute dry oxygen gas also enters into the process. All the water which is supplied is evaporated. The outflowing gas is found to contain 1% weight by weight water. Now here we need to draw the flow sheet for this process. As per the procedure of material balance right now we explained. need to understand problem first we have to draw this flow sheet first we have to show this humidifier then the inputs and outputs from this process need to identify and before identi after identifying we need to select the set of units for that now the input is liquid water given to the system its volumetric flow rate is given it is 1.5 liter per hour and the flow rate of dry oxygen is also given it is 15 gram mole per minute need to convert these units in gram per minute in 
we will select gram per minute. So, 1.5 liter per hour, it is converted to gram per minute, it is 25 gram per minute. So, we need to write that value here in the show, to show the, in the, as shown in the flow sheet, it is 25 gram per minute. Then, at the same time, pure oxygen is supplied with a flow rate of, molar flow rate is given, 15 gram mole per minute. So, 15 gram mole per minute, 1 gram mole is equal to 32 grams as the molecular weight of oxygen is 32. This is converted into 480 grams per minute. So, here this input is shown, pure oxygen with a flow rate of 480 gram per minute. Then, dry air, the flow rate is not given. We consider it is d gram per minute. Then, output, there are three input and then output. Output is humid oxygen rich air. Its flow rate is not given in the problem statement. So, we assume that it is h gram per minute. Now, one more thing given about information given about the output is the out, outflowing gas is found to contain 1% weight by weight water. Means mass percent. 1 mass percent of water. Here it is. Means whatever the data regarding the process it is given all the data is labeled here in the flow sheet in this way we will develop the flow sheet for different processes and this flow sheet helps us to write the mass balance table and once we write the mass balance table then we can easily calculate the unknown quantities in the process. Now students, I request you to draw the one more flow sheet for the given process. I will read the statement of the problem here. Constip liquor contains 2.5% invert sugars, 50% water. The rest can be considered solid. Beet molasses containing 50% sucrose, 1% invert sugars, 18% water and the remainder solids is mixed with constip liquor in a mixing tank. Water is added to produce a diluted sugar mixture containing 2% wet by wet invert sugars. 125 kg constip liquor and 45 kg molasses are fed into the tank. Now draw and label the flow sheet for this process. We need to understand first the process. What are the inputs given, output given and the compositions of input and output. And we need to draw the complete flow sheet for the process. The same problem statement, here it is written, constip liquor contains 2.5% inverse sugars and 50% water and the rest can be considered salts. Beet molasses, it contains 50% sucrose. 1% inverse sugar, 18% water and the remainder solid and is mixed with constip liquor in a mixing tank. So, here this mixing process is carried out in a mixing tank. So, first we will draw this mixing tank. So, this is mixing tank. Here we are mixing constip liquor and 
beat molasses. So, this is input constip liquor and this one is molasses. So, here you label this arrows as a constip liquor and molasses. Now, the composition of constip liquor is given in the first statement and then later on it is given 125 kg constip liquor. 125 kg constip liquor need to mention here the stream 125 kg. So, before drawing this flow sheet when you first understand uh, it is important to understand the problem that time it is necessary to define the basis for the problem. Basis can be selected from the input and output quantities. Here we consider a basis as 125 kg constant liquor as a basis for this problem. So, here you write 125 kg. Then the composition 2.5 invert percent invert sugar. Then 40, 50 percent water and 47.5 percent solids. Constip liquor contains 2.5 percent invert sugar, 50 percent water and 47 percent, 47.5 percent solids. Now, next stream is, next input stream is molasses. Now, here molasses, the content is given 45 kg molasses are fed into the tank in the problem state. So, this is molasses stream, 45 kg, then it contains 1 percent invert sugar, 18 percent water and 50 percent sucrose, 50 percent sucrose. So, need to mention in a flow sheet the composition in detail. Then, water is added to the system as per the problem statement. Water is added to produce a diluted sugar mixture. Our objective is to get a diluted sugar mixture that is the product from this mixing tank. So, here in the problem statement, the how much amount of water is added, it is not given. We need to calculate. We need to calculate the first question is how much water is added to the system or how much water is required here in the process to get the product mixture which contain 2 percent invert sugar, which contains 2 percent invert sugar. So, for that we need to calculate the how much quantity of water need to add here to dilute this mixture. So, the second question here, what is the concentration of sucrose in the final mixture? That also we need to calculate. So, this is the flow sheet which we want to develop for this process. This is the process without reaction just dilution is there. So, how to calculate the how much amount of water is added. Now, first step we have completed we have uh, we have set up the flow sheet flow sheet development is done. Then next we need to write the mass balance table. The mass balance table here it is in kg. You need to identify the streams from the flow sheets. The first stream is constant liquor. The second stream is molasses. The third stream is water and the fourth stream is product. And here the components of all these streams are written for inputs, for inputs, invert sugar, 
सुक्रोज सॉलिड्स वॉटर एंड नेक्स्ट यू टेक अ टोटल ऑफ Here also, once you mention the strings, last row is total. You need to take the total of the column. Then out table. Ah, uh, in out table, you mention the same components: invert sugars, sucrose, solids, water, and then you take a total. So like that, you need to write first mass balance table. and once you draw the mass balance table then first stream you consider in first stream uh, first stream is about constip liquor input stream in table you consider and in that first stream you consider that is constip liquor now here in the flow sheet we have written the composition the constip liquor contains 2.5% invert sugars so first column is regarding first component is invert sugar so in constip liquor we calculate the quantity of invert sugar it is 2.5% it is 2.5% of 125 so calculate that and write here So it is three point one two five. Similarly, in the constip liquor, the amount of sucrose you calculate. If we refer the flow sheet, constip liquor in constip liquor zero percent content of sucrose. Sucrose is not there. So here you write zero kg. then solids solids 47.5% of 125 calculate that and write here it is 59.375 then next is water water content is 50% so water content is 6 50% of 125 that is 62.5 kg then you take a total of this row the total of this row is 125 then whatever calculations you have done are correct next you select next stream that is molasses now if you refer the flow sheet molasses is 45 kg and it contains 1% invert sugar 50% sucrose and 18% water then you write down you calculate invert sugars as per the composition given calculate the sucrose calculate the solids and water then you take a total of this row it is 45 then next stream as per the flow sheet input stream as per the flow sheet is water added to the system to dilute this mixture so how much amount of water is added we have assumed it is w kg so you write uh, water you write the information about the water stream the invert sugar content of the water is zero it is not given zero kg sucrose is not there zero kg solids are zero kg and water content is w kg and the total of this row is w then the next stream is product mixture product mixture is not there in the input stream so put dash here right dash here okay and then you take the total of this column the total of this column is 3.575 total of sucrose column is 22.5 total of solid is 73.325 and total of this column column is 70.6 plus w and the total of this column is 170 plus w this is in table then we focus on out table in out table in uh, in output there is no 
this stream constriplicus stream molasses and water stream so right dash over there and only one stream is there that we we have mentioned here as a product mixture we mentioned here as a product mixture this product mixture contain 2% invert sugar it can say 2% invert sugar but how much product mixture is there that we don't know we assume it as pkg so 2% of 2% of uh, this p that is 0 0.02 p is the invert sugar is the invert sugar present in the product mixture we don't know the content of sucrose in the product mixture so we write here question mark here it is question mark then we don't know solid content water content and that's why we don't know the total loss so write question here if we take the column total then here it is 0 .00, 0 0.02 p here it is question mark here it is question mark question mark and question so before answering the questions in the problem statement first we need to calculate the unknown quantities from this mass balance table and as per the procedure right now we have discussed for that we need to write the total mass balance and component mass balance so how to write that total mass balance and component mass balance from the mass balance table the total mass input in input table it is 170 plus w so the assumptions are important initially uh, like basis the assumption is the process is run at a steady state this is a continuous process and it is run at a steady state that assumption is important and for steady state right now we have discussed the mass balance equation which is applicable is mass in is equal to mass out so we can write the total mass balance equation as total mass in is equal to total mass out so as per this concept we can write 170 plus w kg total mass in from the mass balance table is equal to p kg total mass out means we get one equation here that is 170 plus w is equal to p equation you can call this as equation number one so in in this equation two unknowns are there w and p so next is we we will take the uh, component mass balance first component invert sugar we will take component mass well balance for invert sugar we write the mass balance like this 3.57 kg invert sugar in from the mass balance table this one 3.575 this is input of the invert sugar output we don't know so if we take a mass balance at steady state for the invert sugar we can write 3.575 kg invert sugar in is equal to 0 0.02 p kg invert sugar out so we can write 3.575 is equal to 0 0.02 p invert sugar out so we will get one more equation here which can be solved simplified and we get the value of p as 178.75 kg and if we substitute that value in equation 1 then we will get w is equal to 8.75 kg so once you get this value you can write these values in a mass balance table then next balance is taken is sucrose balance so as per the mass balance table the sucrose balance sucrose in is 22.5 the same sucrose we will get here in the output so mass balance on sucrose is 22.5 kg sucrose in is equal to sucrose out so sucrose out is 22.5 kg write this value 
in mass balance table now next is we need to take solid balance so from the mass balance table the solid in is 73.375 kg solids and it is equal to solid out mass balance at steady state so solid out is 73.325 kg we need to write this also in mass balance table then water balance h2o balance the h2o balance from the mass balance is 70.6 plus wkg water in in the system and that is equal to equal to h2 out so w we already have calculated substituting that w value here we get water out is 79.35 kg the water required is is 8.75 kg is uh, as uh, water required uh, here it is 8.75 kg from equation 3 we got by substituting p value we have calculated w value so how much quantity of water required for the dilution is the first question and we got the answer for that from this mass uh, mass balance calculation we got answer 8.75 kg then the second question is the concentration of sucrose in the product mixture so the sucrose concentration is 22.5 divided by 178.75 i will show you this is sucrose is 22.5 from the mass balance we have calculated and the total of this uh, stream is 178 out table it is 178.75 so it can be calculated as 22.5 upon 178.75 uh, multiplied by 100 it is 12.6 percent so um, in this way the specific questions which are asked in this problem amount of water required for dilution and sucrose concentration is calculated now uh, to solve this we have used the procedure for mass balance calculation and we have calculated all the unknown quantities in the mass balance table by applying the total mass balance and component mass balance and we answer based on mass balance table we answer the specific questions for this problem statement and now uh, we have completed the mass balance table as well uh, all the unknown uh, unknown uh, input output quantities are calculated here now uh, if we observe the mass balance table the total of in table and the total of out table are same that means input is equal to output mass in is equal to mass out and uh, whatever the calculations we have done are correct thank you